Okay, uh, for the next question, I prepared something like, first of all, you have to configure that ESXO number one to use, for example, the other vCenter server as an essential syslog server and using the default TCP ports. And for a second thing, you have to configure the scratch partition on ESXO number two and to save the files on persistent storage. So, for a first thing, for a first question, or first part of the question, I would say one, one, and here is one, two. For a one, one, you have to go to the advanced setting of E6i host, browse something like syslog global localhost, and after that, you can change the value there like vcsa minus 01b.local. And also for one minus two, you have to create, first of all, the folder on a data store, which is called dot e6i02 underscore scratch, for example. And after that, you need to copy the full path of the scratch folder regarding that slash forward slash VMFS forward slash volumes forward slash that uh, data store ID and after that name like dot e6 0 2 underscore scratch and paste that name at full path to the scratch uh, items which is you have on e6 number two advanced configuration so first let's go for uh, configure that central syslog server as usual I use hands on lab experience, login, okay, E6I number one, configure, scroll down to the system section and after that, the advanced system settings, edit, on a filter type syslog. And now you can see here what we're looking for called syslog point global point lock host. As I mentioned already here, syslog global lock host. And you have to edit that value here. For example, if they provide you a name, you can simply change it. For example, I try to like, let me use a notepad, just notepad. Okay, I know that, I know, paste here. Yeah. And for example, they said you have to put that or re send that uh, syslog packet to the syslog receiver like VCSA0 two okay i change it to two and b for example and you can copy that make sure you use that copy and paste by clicking the mouse on the item you know as you can see in before in a, in a last step i used that control c and there is a message that says, hey, are you sure you want to use it control C and control P, control V because it doesn't work here? I said, okay. So this is the first part. I said, okay. And make sure here again, that task is finished with that completed status. That's really important. Then you can go for a second step. For example, on E6 number two, we need to change the scratch partition. So, browser storage, of course, in, in, in the scenario, they gave you the storage name, for example. They gave you, uh, I don't know, the DS minus ISCOS is 01, for example. Let me check that host availability also, that E6 number two is present there. And simply go for a files. 
and create the new folder which is called point or dot for example es602 underscore scratch let's say okay now you have it you can see that let's go to the summary you need to copy that path totally which is that represent that uh, actually that storage path paste it here and in the end what is the folder name on the files you have the folder you can say uh, rename to again here right click copy and again paste it here like that that's why I say the time is flying in the exam because you don't have much time for doing this stuff you have to do it really quick and really fast back to that uh, cluster select the DSXI holes edit again search for a scratch and here the first item scratch config configuration scratch location as you can see there is a lots of stuff there control a delete everything you have and paste what you have here and say okay again double check the task is finished for that reason if you want to apply that configuration as an permanent things you have to put the host on a maintenance mode and reboot it if you never reboot the host that change never never be affected on the host uh, or we can check it in future but let me check oh there is a running virtual machine migrate uh, to the other host it must be happen really quickly okay just evacuate the host because i don't know if if that ha is already configured there or not and also it would be finished that's on a windows machine maybe that okay that pretty fast maintenance mode enter the maintenance mode come on dude i don't have time for exam for example and now just you can say power reboot there is an for example scratch scratch partition and okay uh, i will pause the video and we'll come back after the host is rebooted because i want to double check that value of a scratch partition which is applied on an advanced configuration for esxi host okay the dsxi host is up again let me check 63 seconds okay never mind go to the configure again and scroll down system advanced system settings edit search for scratch and double check the value as you can see here that the scratch config current scratch location is changed to the es 602 underscore scratch you know it's really important because once you edit that scratch location and after uh, the reboot is done it will be automatically happen for a scratch config current scratch location you know and that's all for this video i would say uh, stay with me please and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell and turn on the notification for a new videos and also if you have any idea or uh, i don't know any questions regarding whatever of uh, vmware technologies or vmware exams i will be really happy you note it on a comment down below and i will reach you and answer you as soon as possible stay with me for next question